Well, it appears like the Kendrick Lamar and Drake feud is over after over two months of building tension, a whole week of fighting, and around 11 years of waiting. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Furthermore, the latter recently shared the following message on his Instagram story, writing, Good times, as the description for a painting that showed a lone samurai facing an army. Summer vibes up next. The artwork itself appears to allude to the 20v1 that the boy rapped about on push-ups, when a large portion of the industry turned against him. But this is still a very nebulous meaning, of course. However, what precisely were the good times in this conflict? And what does he mean by summer vibes? Some Drake supporters who left comments on the post said they were hoping for some more hits from him in the summer to help him get back on track, show that he can write hits, and take that diss tune not like us off the charts. They contend that he prevailed by releasing The Heart Part 6, to which Kendrick Lamar has not yet replied. Regardless of your position in the argument, it's reasonable to argue that any triumph was not only razor thin, but also quite murky in light of the accusations they leveled at one another. Not related to the conflict, but undoubtedly contributing to the tension, the Toronto celebrity's personal life also became extremely Extremely severe. Family Matters is probably the best record, Not Like Us is the best song. With the apparent end of the Kendrick Lamar and Drake feud, everyone is weighing in on who they believe prevailed, and whose material was superior. Naturally, a lot of people are making a distinction between two categories on that last point, which was the better song overall, and which was the better diss track. Andrew Schultz, Charlemagne the God, and others discussed this topic and offered some thought-provoking justifications for their opinions on a winner. Yeah, Not Like Us is the best Family song. Matters is the best diss track. Yeah. And yeah. Not Like Us is the best bot. Regardless of your opinion of the co-host of The Breakfast Club, there's no denying that this is an extremely difficult race. So Drake got the best diss track, but he didn't win. No, he lost because of strategy. Yeah. I don't know if I really count like that or first-person shooter. I don't know why y'all got 7-minute drivel by J. Cole even up there. I don't know why y'all got show of hands up there with Future. A Sap Rocky and Metro Boomin. I don't know why y'all got all to myself with Future. The Weekend and Metro Boomin. No. We're talking about Kendrick Lamar and Aubrey Graham. That's what we talk about. So, if anything, I would keep like that. No, it doesn't 7 minute drivel doesn't exist anymore. I would keep like that and then push ups. Then I would go into tailor made freestyle. Then I would go into Euphoria 616 in LA, Family Matters. Recently, there has been a desire for people to hear from Joe Budden. All things considered, this is a result of the ongoing fight between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Budden has emerged as one of the most adored cultural critics. Even though he might be irritating at times, listening to him express his opinions is always amusing. Fans are especially interested in learning about his opinions on the Kendrick Lamar fight because he has previously been a harsh critic of Drake. Following Kendrick's release of Not Like Us on SETI, Budden joined DJ Academics on a live stream. He asserted that Drizzy was currently losing at this point. Although Drake did not give us a timestamp record, he thought that it was vital. Rather, he delivered what felt like a capitulation with The Heart Part 6. The most recent episode of the Joe Budden podcast had a discussion of the beef and an admission of how much Joe enjoys Not Like Us. He even made fun of Ish, who seems to be supporting Drake, by using the song. Ish remained sitting on the couch next to Ice, but everyone else got up and started dancing as soon as Joe turned on the song. It was an amusing moment that proves Kendrick may have the greatest song of them all. Some claim that Not Like Us is a part of Family Matters, but it's really getting people out of their chairs. It only proves that Kendrick is a hitmaker, despite the false accusations of others that his songs are uninteresting. Did you realize niggas <laughs> is mad because our opinion on the beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar? After hearing the criticism of Cameron and Mace's rendition of Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria, the artists are now confronting the issue head on. <laughs> Why we can't have our opinion? <laughs> the much-awaited Euphoria, Kendrick Lamar's reaction to Drake, was eventually released earlier this week. The diss track has now elicited strong responses from both sides of the argument, as was to be expected. Secondly, this is what I want to say. According to Cameron and Mace, Drizzy has emerged as the winner thus far. It appears, though, that many of their viewers don't agree. And this is not the start of problem with anybody. Else. In the most recent episode of the Key Podcast, which was released on Thursday, May 2nd, the rappers turned podcasters informed their listeners that their grievances were unfounded. East Coast niggas is not as big on the coast shit as y'all are on the coast shit. Cameron said to his co-host, Listening to Euphoria today. How you felt about that? <laughs> Overall, the song is highly critical, implying that Drake may have erred in his decision to become involved in the dispute. Six minutes in length and packed with bars, Lamar's song dissected Drake's whole career. In the song, Drake receives criticism for being a scam artist. It also touched on Drizzy's choice to stay out of the spotlight when Pusha T was around. All things considered, it's a harsh song, and many now claim that Kendrick is winning the feud. Mace and Cameron seem to have different ways of thinking. Cameron and Mace talked about Kendrick's latest diss tune on their podcast, It Is What It Is. Who's winning the battle to you right now? Drake is definitely winning. Mace claimed that Kendrick was responding too slowly, while the two rappers 
rappers who are now podcast hosts still believe that Drake is winning their feud. In the last two and a half weeks, Drake released two diss singles. He got into trouble with Tupac Shakur's estate because he used artificial intelligence to mimic the late rapper's voice. Drake has been sharing pictures on Instagram and participating in online games. Fans have been waiting for Kendrick to respond all this time. Mace felt the song was good, but it ought to have been released sooner. It, it took a while for him to get, you wait a while, it gotta be like out of this world. When Cameron asks Mace about his overall impressions of the record, he responds that he felt it was alright. Mace also believed that the record would have been more successful and should have been released sooner. I think Drake is running euphoria that really, really moved me. Jokingly, Cameron questioned why Kendrick needed to answer right away after Mace had taken so long to release his Cameron diss track Oracle earlier. Mace had to gather himself after the two rappers seemed to take a good jab. In the end, Mace claims that the diss didn't reveal anything novel about Drake, suggesting that most of the information heard on the song has already been covered. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.